Here at home, a violent attack in Pinellas County. A pit bull locks down on a smaller dog and ends up getting shot by the owner of that dog and Largo police. Now a neighbor who tried to pull the pit bull back is speaking to News Channel 8's Corey Davis. He joins us live in Largo tonight. And Corey, I, I can only imagine people out there quite shaken up. Good evening, Stacy, and they won't forget that incident either. We're told that the screams from that poodle and yells from its owners attracted people living along 10th Avenue Southwest. So just imagine as a lot of older people live out here, it became them versus that pit bull. He would not let go he, of life, nor his uh, mission to have that dog for lunch. Rick May saw a large pit bull biting away at his neighbor's poodle on 10th Avenue Southwest in Largo. He ran. You could just see those legs digging in the ground. And he grabbed that poodle by the hip, left hip. The dog flung that poodle around after police tell us the pit bull got away from its owner Saturday afternoon. And that's when everybody heard the ungodly screeching crying for help. Cries from the poodle and its owner. Latched on like a Gila monster. I mean, it wasn't going to let go. One of the poodle's owners tried beating the pit bull with his walking cane and dumping water on it. May, not very mobile himself, even jumped on the pit. I was just trying to hold it from the back of the neck. and That's when one of the poodle's owners got a gun and shot the pit bull twice. And you thought, we could get the mouth open the dog out, but it made the dog more aggressive. Largo police arrived to see the pit bull suffering, barely alive. With the owner's permission, they euthanized the dog, shooting it in the yard. May tells us the dog was always tied up, didn't have much interaction with anyone. So May tells us that he doesn't know how the poodle is doing right now, but he was told that it uh, suffered some broken bones. And Largo police tell us that no one will be charged in this case. Stacy, Corey, this is awful. Do we have any idea how often this kind of attack happens? Well, I did talk to the Pinellas County Animal Services, and they keep track of the amount of animal bites on humans, and they don't separate those by breeds, though. So what I found out was last year, there were more than 1,900 animal bites. This includes cats, dogs, and wildlife. And so far this year, nearly 900 animal bites have been reported. Corey Davis, live in Largo tonight. Thank you.